Okay, hey guys, welcome back to another Helix video. Um, as you could tell from the little bit of playing there, uh, we're doing Mysterious Ways today. Um, I had a request for a Mysterious Ways patch, the U2 song, of course. Um, so I wanted to have a crack at that. Um, first off, big thanks to uh, one of the Line 6 Custom Tone users, Jaws A, capital J-O-S underscore capital A. Um, he had a great patch uh, for this, and um, so I downloaded that, and used uh, his filter settings as a great starting point which the filter is really kind of the heart of the patch and then plugged it into a YouTube patch I had and kind of tweaked it a little bit but um, check his stuff out on custom tone it's it's a great patch as well um, but basically uh, we'll get into how I put this patch together um, as with all things YouTube pretty much uh, almost without exception we're going to be using a Vox AC30 got a couple of uh, Vox cabs there uh, pretty standard from what you'd expect on this room reverb add a little bit of space um, okay now we'll get to what's going on in front of the amp um, for any uh, any or all of you YouTube buffs out there you probably already know this but he uses a Korg A3 on uh, on this song and uh, that was an old rack mount unit that Korg put out in 1990 and uh, it just basically I think it was preset number 76 based on what I saw online uh, was pretty much that was it. That was his the sound. Uh, he wrote, I guess, wrote this riff with that uh, using that. Anyway, so that's why like the delay and mod I have in front of the amp. No, normally, I'd have these delay and modulation effects after the amp, but I want to kind of emulate what he would have going on with that Korg A3 running in front of the Vox AC30. So uh, I've got a compulsive drive here. Um, you know, pretty. You know, everything's just kind of halfway. Um, just to add some drive to the patch, uh, flanger, uh, see the setting got about a 61% mix. Um, I don't have it synced. Uh, it is a hundred BPM. The song is, but I don't have the flange synced. just kind of pretty low rate. Uh, just to kind of give a little bit of movement in the modulation department. Um, de uh, delay wise, I went with memory man, typical edge stuff dotted eighth note delay. Um, got the mix down pretty low. It, it's kind of subtle. Uh, you know, it's not it's not nearly as prominent as, as delay is with uh, some other U2 stuff. Uh, going at the very front of the chain, I've got a compressor. Just kind of even the signal out and boost it a little bit. This I found helped quite a bit <coughs> for this particular patch because the filter's kind of sensitive. So uh, this delay just kind of helped even things out a bit. Now to the uh, heart of this patch. Um, I don't know for sure. Like I haven't looked at the Line 6 Helix documentation. But if I had to put money on it, I'd say this is definitely an A3 model. Certainly inspired by the A3. Mystery filter, mysterious ways, the image looks like the A3. So um, I don't know if they exactly modeled an A3 for this filter, but certainly that had to have been the inspiration. So uh, anyway, um, one other note. I am using the Line 6 Variax to emulate the 12-string Reckenbacher that the Edge is using. Uh, I found that because of the higher, you know, with the 12 string, you've got some higher frequencies coming through the bottom strings than you normally would. I found that affected the filter, and I had to make some changes for that. Uh, so there's two snapshots, one just regular, one for the 12 string that, that has some minor adjustments on the filter. Um, so that's why that's there. Uh, I would also say with a fair amount of certainty, you're going to need to tweak the filter a little bit for your setup, your guitar, the output of your pickups, the way you play. Um, like I said, the filter's kind of sensitive, so um, it's kind of set up for, you know, like I said, with my very axe and the way I'm playing it, but um, don't get discouraged if you download the patch and it takes you a minute to kind of get the filter set up uh, for the way you're going to play it, because uh, like I said, it's kind of sensitive. So with the 12 string, I noti noticed I had to kind of boost the sensitivity all the way up, um, and you just kind of see the settings from here uh, to show you the difference. Um, on this other uh, snapshot, sensitivity's down a little bit. I think the frequency's raised just a touch, uh, and the attack is a little bit lower. Uh, it's it's subtle changes, but this filter is so sensitive that um, it, this kind of makes all the difference. Uh, the, so, like I said, you're more than likely going to need to tweak it for your setup. So anyway, uh, I mean that's it. That's that's the patch. Um, like I said, this is trying my best to emulate that Korg A3 sound that, that the Edge got. Um, I think it's pretty close, um, but uh, it, at the very least, this should give you a good starting point if you, if you cover this song or want to play it.
So uh, anyway, that's it. I'll uh, I'm gonna play through a little more of the song just to let you hear another some more sound examples. But uh, I hope you enjoy it. The, the uh, link for the download will be in the description as always for this patch. And please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. So anyway, here we go. Oh, <laughs> 